involves a team that did not play tonight, and that's the Golden State Warriors in the wake of last night's skirmish with the Minnesota Timberwolves. The league handed down a five-game suspension on Draymond Green for his chokehold, headlock, whatever you want to call it, on Rudy Gobert. They also issued $25,000 fines for Clay Thompson, Jamie McDaniels, and Gobert. And you see the, the history that the rap sheet, if you will, that Green has put together in the NBA. I can't believe he's only been suspended nine games. It seems like more over the years. You see the ejections and the fine money is outrageous. That is money that he's left on the table over the course of his NBA career. That's a really nice house. It's, it's you think so? That's a really nice house. In a lot of places, I, it's several really nice yeah, houses. Like, yeah, that's a, it's really, a lot of houses. That's yeah. a really nice house. It depends on where uh, you live, I guess. But goodness. And I think from my standpoint, um, the league got it right. I mean, they even could have been higher. And I think, you know, and I've been knowing Draymond forever, but I don't think it was just because of what happened in that instance. And I know they won't say that, but I think it's been a combination. Of Sometimes a they will say Sometimes that. They will Sometimes say they will say that. Say that. I don't think if you get a track way. record, yes. it's going to affect you. You're not going to get the benefit of the doubt. But I think Draymond is standing on that. <laughs> Yes. Um, and I also do think that this was kind of a buildup of the last two or three mm -hmm. games. You saw um, the scuffle with Donovan Mitchell. You see the intention with Anthony Edwards. That's Draymond's M.O. Sure. In terms of he's tough. He's going to, you know, he's going to be that protector and, and that player on the team. I think where the Warriors need him is on the court. Mm -hmm. And so he has to do all that while staying on the court. Um but I also am wondering the fine for Clay. You think Clay, Clay Thompson, should have been, should have been fined, like in a regular situation where that doesn't yes. escalate, escalate. I don't think if it doesn't escalate, he's probably not escalate. fined. Does he get yeah. fined? And I, I guess that's my thing. If we're yeah. talking about past, you know, offenses or past occurrences, like to me, I feel like Clay has had a clean slate. I think he doesn't. If that, if that, if the choke doesn't happen. But why after, after the fact? Well, Do I pretty, get fined for something well, that happens you call after? The I'm just, yeah, I'm just. I'm I mad. also think this man it, it, it does not obviously uh, excuse Draymond for what he did. Rudy should never grab the opposing team player, and mm -hmm. I think that's you know you shouldn't get choked for it, but you got to grab your players. But when you start grabbing, e Clay, even if peacemaking, even if peacemaking, yeah. I, you always is unwritten rules. You, I'm gonna grab Matt. We're teammates. Okay, but let's not. I Let's just, not skip over the fact that, like, Rudy and Draymond have had yeah, something in the yes, past. Yeah. Sure. So there is something with that. But um, if I see Rudy grabbing Clay, that gives me to say, let me go protect my guy. Listen, I'm all for that because, because I think... Because if Rudy was grabbing Daniels, he's not going to go grab him. Well, and and in, I completely in, agree with yeah. you. And in this case, I think it's the manner of grab. I think it was the manner and the yes. length of time yes. of no, grab. No, not, not letting go. Exactly. The but he could grab him if he was grabbing Daniels. He wouldn't grab him then. I'm not disagreeing with you. Probably not. I'm not disagreeing with you. I think it was the length of the grab and the fact that he didn't let go. And, 